Well, howdy there, folks. It's Mike from the Hardcover Comic. As you can tell tonight, this is the third video you're watching from the Hardcover Comic tonight. You know I'm on a DC Rebirth overview binge tonight because I'm so excited, man. I'm so glad these are coming out. Next up, we got Suicide Squad Re Rebirth Deluxe Edition, book one. Written by Rob Williams, artwork by Jim Lee, Philip Tan. Um, there's a bunch of backups done by dudes like, uh, I think Eddie Barrows did one, I think uh, Jason Fabic did one, gorgeous stuff, man. This book has really top-notch artwork. Um, the story, you know, we'll get into it, a little on the fence about it, um, but it's definitely better than than the, recent, than the new 52 Suicide Squad stuff I had read anyway, uh, in my opinion. So, it's fine. Take a look at the back here. Let's see what we got in here. So, we got one through eight. We got the rebirth. Uh, we got the rebirth one shot, and then we got a Harley Quinn and the Suicide Squad April Fool special, which I don't think I ever read. So, I mean, not that much content. It's, you know, thirty-five US, forty-six Canadian. Uh, you know, relative to the other books, not the most content, but um, like I said, top-notch. Uh, let me uh, let's get the dust jacket off. Once again, breathtaking, breathtaking printed hardcover. Um, got the whole team on there, artwork by uh, Mr. Jim Lee himself. So the team, as we can see here, is, um, you got Deadshot, uh, Colonel Steve Trevor, you've got, um, I forget what her name is, I want to say it's like Hijack or, or, or Matrix or something like that, um, Killer Croc, Enchantress, yeah, Enchantress, uh, Katana, Harley Quinn, um, and then, I don't want to spoil who that is, but you find out, um, in, in, <laughs> in the first arc, um, but so basically how this book worked and you know Jim Lee's on the on the title and, and Jim Lee has you know he's a he's a busy guy. He's a busy guy over at DC. Um so let's just first take a look at all the artists here. So Rob Williams writes the book and I really enjoy his writing. He did a great job with uh, Martian Manhunter. Um in uh, at the end of the new 52 there it was DC Now at that point, you know. Um but uh basically we got we got this team I mentioned I'm not entirely sure what this part is. I don't think I read this, but uh, you know, whoops. Um, but basically, we got we got this team. Um, you know, Amanda Waller's back at it again with the Suicide Squad, and um, that's right. You got Captain Boomerang in there as well. I, I apologize, but like I was saying earlier, um, Jim Lee does the artwork. Now the thing is, he did like 14 pages per per issue, and then you had a backup story going through. Um, some some details on each character, giving each character every issue um, sort of their own story, their own little um, I, I don't know I don't know what to call it their their own yeah their own like mini mini story like eight page story and I think the way they broke it up in this book is it looks like they did all the Jim Lee stuff sequentially and then afterwards I think you get into Yes, then you get into the, the individual stories, the Task task Force X files, personnel files, there you go. Um, really great stuff here, some Eddie Barrows doing, I think, uh, some, I think this was Ivan Reyes as well, Philip Tan, I mean, there's, there's just gorgeous, gorgeous artwork uh, throughout the entire book, and you get, you know, you get to feel for these characters because, you know, they're, they're criminals and they, they've done a lot of bad things, but um, these, these backgrounds that, that you get for them are really really interesting um, for finding out things about them and connecting with them on a more personal level so we got some a bunch of variants here you know just a bunch of harley quinn everywhere because everyone's uh all excited about her some sweetly bermejo covers dude is beyond talented um i guess one thing i didn't do in the previous videos is show you guys binding but i mean it's it's what what you expect from all the dc hard covers it's not the greatest but they're uh the paper you know it, it pretty much stays open fairly Really quickly, maybe not. Maybe I just haven't worked mine in enough. Yeah, probably haven't. Oh, here I am making promises I can't keep. There you go. Not too bad. Not too bad. But yeah, I mean, it, it's a fun book. Give it a shot. You know, maybe buy buy the first issue digitally or something like that, and uh, give it a shot. I I thought it was enjoyable for the most part. I'm looking forward to see where it goes and seeing how it rereads. You know, reading all the Jim Lee stuff sequentially and then going into the personnel files again. I'm just very excited that DC is making these and I gotta support it. I gotta support it. I'm even thinking about buying the Justice League one even though I hate it. 
So uh, we'll see what happens. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Give me your thoughts below on the book, what you think. Has it gotten better? You know, I don't think I read past issue 8. Has it gotten a lot better? Let me know. I'm really curious. I'm going to keep buying it, though. I'm going to keep supporting the DC, and I love Rebirth, and I love these hardcovers. Anyway, rant over. Thanks, guys, for tuning in yet again. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic, and until next time, folks, you stay classy, Internet.